hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to start with our uh, series of nsc 47 training and this is the day one and in this video i will be showing you how to configure a uh, uh, fortigate firewall okay uh, so this is a basic video so this is the cli of the fortigate firewall uh, and i have connected it to my uh, management uh, of my pc okay so it is connected directly to my internet my laptop's internet so we will configure port 1 in such a way so that we can access the GUI of the FortiGate firewall from the port 1 So this is the GUI of the FortiGate firewall. Okay, our password is a username is admin, and password is one two three. So we have just logged in into the firewall GUI. So here we can give a name to our firewall host name. So I'll just give firewall. So this is the 7.0 version of the FortiGate firewall. If you guys want this image, you can just ping me down in the uh, comment section. I'll give you this image by providing the drive link. Okay. So this is the GUI. Now we can go into the network and go into the interfaces. And from here we can configure the interfaces. You know, like if you want to configure IP address and uh, you have to configure what kind of protocol you are going to allow then or the on that interface so you can configure so we will configure the port 2 name is lan you can define the role as well lan and uh, IP address will be 10.1.1 slash 24 so this will be acting as a gateway for this uh, PC and what kind of protocols you have to allow like uh, administrative access HTTPS, SSH, ping okay Forty manager access, FTM, SNMP are not needed as of now okay we will discuss this uh, part later in this course and you have to just click on ok now I'll go in my PC and I'll try to ping if I'm able to ping the FortiGate firewall. I have configured this PC as well. See I'm able to access. I'm able to ping this firewall. But uh, still I'm not able to reach the internet from this firewall. You know why? Because this is a firewall and in a firewall we have to allow security uh, you know uh, security profiles to travel from one zone to other zone okay if this was a router then it would have allowed but this is a firewall you cannot you know directly allow access from one zone to others other zone as well so you have to create security policies in firewall so i'll teach you how to create it yeah you have to go into the firewall policy create new you have to give a name I will say LAN to WAN incoming interface is LAN port outgoing is port 1 and what kind of source you going to allow in our case we will select all but in if you are having uh, multiple SVIs like VLANs created so you can you know create address groups as well okay now we have to enable NATing because we are allowing our private host to interact with the internet so NATing should happen because in, in on internet private IP address don't work we have to you know 
convert the private IP private IP address to our public IP addresses. Okay, so NATing should be enabled. Otherwise, it will not work. So for testing purpose, I'll show you. Okay. And I will give a static route as well. Okay, I know the uh, the gateway of my PC, so that's why I'm quite confident. But I'll also double confirm. it is same only so uh, I'll just I'm giving it in static way as well by the way it has the firewall is getting the gateway as we have configured the IP address by DHCP mode so it is getting the IP address but then also I've configured it in the static way okay so what I've done I've basically not enabled natting okay to to you know uh, do the testing so now I'll check whether I'm able to reach the internet it will not because natting is not enabled Okay, now if we I will enable the netting. See, I am able to connect to the internet now. So this is how firewall works. We have to create uh, netting, netting and security policies, firewall policies if you want to allow a traffic from one zone to another zone see now we are able to access YouTube okay we are able to connect with the internet now there is a command on FortiGate firewall with the help of which we can you know check the logs uh, yeah it's list see so these are the logs our internal IP address uh, 10.1.1.2 it is getting translated by this IP address which is the uh, port 1 IP address of the firewall and it is working as a PAT port address trans translation is happening with single IP address the the, uh, the multiple ports are getting assigned okay and the user is able to connect to the internet and he, he can he now he can access anything he wants so that's all for today stay tuned for the upcoming video i'll be posting more videos